days later. Whoa, already days have passed? Where am I? What is this place? Hello, my name is Tada Yoshikuro Kawa. I am a regular six, average 16 year old boy, except that I'm in the middle of some serious trouble. I'm lost, and I don't have time for introductions like this. Today is my first day off since I came to the church. I was enjoying my time reading books in a makeshift library in the church, but... How about we go for a walk? I'll even give you some spending money. Rosary's proposal is nice enough to get my attention, and I agree to leave the church. I should have flattered Rosary, told her she looks pretty or something, but that's not important right now. There's always time for compliments. So I was walking into the slums, eating a famous local food called tofu uh, chikua. Things went well until I realized that I was completely lost. Some areas of the town are dangerous, so don't wander off too far. Got it? Uh, Rosary, I think I wandered into one of the dangerous areas you mentioned earlier. Because... Are people chasing us? Shall we do it? Huh? I see someone who looks really dangerous. And he starts to unzip his jumpsuit right in front of me. Let's do it. I don't care if you're straight. <laughs> oh my god. What? The guy's like, oh my god, I need to get some action right now. I don't care what it is. Human, doesn't matter. I run from him as fast as I can. Playing tag with with the kids has come in handy here. My legs are trained up for running. Maybe I should give them some sweets as a thank you present. <sighs> Did I lose him? <sighs> I'm out of breath from running around. That just proves that I lack stamina. I really suck at physical activities. <sighs> I think I'm going deeper into danger. I'm not even remotely familiar with this location. I want to ask someone how to get out of here, but I think that, that it could be fatal if I mess up and ask the wrong person. Wish I could find someone from the soup kitchen. Damn it! Ah, we lost again! She's too good! I hear men shouting from out of nowhere. What's going on? I know I shouldn't try to see what's happening, but my curiosity wins out. I approach the scene. It's Lin. I won again. Now pay what you owe me. Che, fine. Here you go. Damn, I lost yesterday's winnings. A bunch of vulgar guys and a tall, beautiful woman are at a table, playing some kind of game. Are they playing cards? It's interesting to see a card game in the slums. So they must be gambling with cards. I'm surprised that the town has fancy stuff like that. <laughs> fancy stuff like cards? I guess. I'm not sure if that's a fancy thing or not. And that woman. Isn't she Lin? That old friend of Rosary's? I can't forget that dagger sharp gaze. Does she stare at everyone like that? I think you're cheating, so I'm gonna shuffle this again. Why not? I don't think it would change anything. Heh, <laughs> let's see how it turns out. As the man finishes shuffling the deck, he deals 5 cards to each person. Isn't that poker? I didn't think I'd get to see that in the slums either. Oh, poker is everywhere. I have no idea who brought it here. I learned that poker is a game of wits and intelligence where it's all about interaction. Yeah, <laughs> when I play poker, it's not a game of wits or intelligence. It's just a game of luck and bluffing basically. It's just like, I, I, I bluff at the weirdest and worst hands ever and for some reason it tends to work six out of ten times I'd say and that's my way of playing poker I, there's no science or strategy for me behind it it's just eh do I feel like bluffing this time or not <laughs> I got a nice hand here time for revenge baby mine's good too you would better fold while you can got it I guess one's got a pair of threes and the others got nothing. Their faces are telling me what they have. Are they stupid or something? I can't see their hands from here. 
But judging from their words and expressions, even an amateur like myself can tell their hands aren't very good. Raise. Seriously? I said I have a good hand here, you idiot! I'm giving you another chance. You should save yourself and fold! How generous you are, brother! Heh. <laughs> Why should I run from a match that I know I will win? Show your hands already. Damn! Everyone puts their cards on the table. Three of a kind for Lin. One of the men has a pair of threes, the other has no pairs. So, I win again. Come on, be quick. Don't be a cheap ass for pennies. I haven't lost yet. Let's do it one more time. There you go. That's how people ruin themselves with gambling. That's a <laughs> honestly, I'm I've never gambled with real money, but I I was a there was one particular game that I used to play, which was like a. It was like a web-based game, a browser game that was, was, was like Mafia and stuff. I don't know if people actually know that. I think it was Omerta or something. Omerta. I don't know what the frick it was called. But inside that game, you had like an in-game in currency and whatnot. And there was actually like a part. Because it was with the, to do with the Mafia and stuff. And you had like a... I think you had Blackjack in there and the Roulette and all that stuff. And that's a place where you could just kind of gamble your money. And my thing was always... I would I would make like out of a hundred thousand I guess it was dollars there out of a hundred thousand I would make I would somehow turn that into 60 million and then I'd be like okay I'll quit for now and then the next day I'll be like oh, I have 16 million maybe I can make more of that and then I put 1 million on the next bed and then I just slowly start to lose my money and then when I feel like oh my god and I'll, I'll and I don't know when to stop yeah when it's like when I feel like I've lost 8 times in a row, I'll think that the next time is when I'm gonna win big and then I'll just keep losing and losing and yeah. I think that's kind of a bad attitude to have with gambling because once you start losing, or at least once you lose twice in a row, most normal people will be like, okay I'll stop here, I'll just take my winnings or take with what I have now and I'll be like, nope, gotta win back what I lost and more than that. Even if I were to win back what I lost before, I wouldn't be satisfied with that. I actually want to come out with a profit as well. So yeah, I don't think going to a real casino is something I should ever do in my life because I would probably, I don't know. I mean, that was obviously like in-game currency, so it didn't matter at all. It was just, you know, fake, but I don't know how it would be with real money. But I have a feeling some part of that might translate over into real gambling as well. So I'm just, you know, never gonna do that in real life because I don't want to put myself in the position where I might gamble away all of my freaking money. So, yeah, stay away from casinos. I'm never going to Las Vegas, sadly, or at least not for the casinos. But what the hell is there else to do in Las Vegas, right? Isn't it like a desert other than, you know, the freaking casinos and whatnot? So yeah, no Las Vegas for me. I've heard that the magic words in gambling are one more time, <laughs> which just leads losers to lose more, <laughs> exactly. Just like one more time, this is gonna be it man, this is gonna be it, I can feel it, and then bam, oh no no no, this is gonna be it. Cause, cause like statistically, right, if you had a 10% chance of, of winning, let's say, or 50% or chance of winning, and you were to lose five times in a row, then statistically the next chance will be a higher percentage of winning, right? That's how it will work in my mind, but obviously it's like 50% chance every single time then and it doesn't really add up. So yeah, but that's how I sort of rationalize it in my mind to keep going and going. And those guys are perfect proof of that theory. Ha, you don't stand a chance at all. Hmm, how long can you keep up that cheeky look? The other thugs start shuffling the deck. Oh wait, I think I briefly saw them trying to swap cards. Hmm. Lin keeps staring at the man, as if she didn't notice it. Let's deal. The man grins as he deals out the cards. Unless my eyes deceive me, he cheated this time. Hold on. What? The men's, uh, uh, the men's hands pause as Lin shouts at them in an intimidating tone. What a pity. You resort to cheating when you start losing. Dude, quit accusing me. You got any goddamn proof that we're cheating? Whoa. 
Their attitudes is proof enough that they're cheating. It's the easiest thing in the world to see. I'm sure they aren't really suited to gambling. But she doesn't have any solid proof that they cheated. Tch. Try harder if you want to cheat. I'll be getting a flush. The smartass will get a royal straight flush and a full house from that bald guy. Am I correct? How the... Whoa. She guessed their hands. I knew she was no ordinary person. I don't know how she really got it right. But from what I can see about those men, her guess is 100% correct. They keep Lin from folding by giving her a moderately good hand. I knew it. A flush for me, and you guys got a royal straight flush, and a full house. Do you guys know what she just deserve here? She's so scary. Seems like there's a penalty for cheating here. I think they have some kind of rules of their own. That's it! You've gone too far, you son of a... Let's do it alright, brother! She looks so hot! Let's have some fun with her! Oh my god. Life in the slum. Oh my god. Uh-oh. I see the men drawing something shiny from their pockets. You really suck at gambling if you don't cheat. You guys cheat when you're losing, and it's too obvious. Ah! How come all these men are useless for anything but sex? Lin taunts the men, as if she wants them to fight her. Doesn't she know that they've got weapons? I want to shout and let her know, but... I'm too shocked to speak at all. Shut up! I'm gonna rip you apart! Whoa! One of the men charges angrily at Lin with a knife in his hand. I know it's weak of me, but I shut my eyes in fear. But as I hear the sound of metal against metal, I open my eyes to see what's going on. What the? Oh my god, what are those weapons? Batons? Oh yeah, Lin crosses a pair of metal rods in front of her, blocking the man's knife. Are those... Tonfas? I don't know what those are. Tonfas? Okay. I read about them in a book once. Tonfa were used in an ancient style of martial arts in southern Japan. Okay, it looks kind of interesting. But I can't believe that I get to see it in action. And you whip out a knife when things don't go your way. Have you no morals? You're about as much use as livestock. Less use even. At least you can eat livestock. Eat this! Is that my brother's death stab technique? Nobody's ever survived that! <laughs> That's apparently his, uh, his death chant or war cry, battle cry. Left, right, left again, another left, then right. The man's knife doesn't even scratch her. Lin swiftly dodges all his attacks as if she knew where to move and center to finish. Your moves are too obvious for me. Yeah. Ah! Lin knocks the man's knife away with her left tonfa, then strikes his face forcefully with the right one. Wow, that's gotta hurt. The man's lost one of his front teeth and blood is gushing from his mouth. Dang, Lin is badass, yo. I'd take you a hundred years to hit me with a move like that, or it would. Dang you! Around here, I'm known as the Scarlet Red Star! Scarlet Red Star, huh? Scarlet and Red are the same thing, you moron! Ow! Her tonfa lits his, hits his lower jaw. Why did you... Thud. The bulky man falls to the ground in two hits. No matter how big you are, you can't stay standing if your brain's shaking. Now, Lin stares at the other man, who's starting to stand up. You took my brother out! I, the aquatic blue light of this town, I will beat you for my br- I'm telling you, I've got no time to listen to all this crap you're spewing. Bam! Rah! Lin steps towards the man and hits him in the face before he's even finished shouting. Another thud, a loud one. In this, is this place full of morons like them? Hmm. Impre 
impressive. She took down those tough guys in no time. Those thugs are foaming at the mouth, and they don't seem to be getting up. I don't think they're dead though. What? Wait, I see him coming. I had to hide quickly. The guy in the jumpsuit who tried to talk to me is coming this way. Hey, you there. Oh, would you take care of those bastards for me? Are you sure about them? I don't care if they're bad guys, you know. Fine by me. They're all yours. Oh yeah, go ha hump them. The man in the jumpsuit, uh, jumpsuit grabs the guys, Lin defeated, and walks away with them. Ah! Their painful screams echo up to the sky. Incidentally, nobody has seen those men in the slums since then. But that's another story. Oh my god, did that really happen? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, you're so impressive. Aren't you, Lin? Once things calm down, I come out of hiding to speak to Lin. I know she's scary, but she's friends with Rosary. And we've met before, so I don't think she'd attack me on sight. Aren't you that kid from Rosary's church? Jeez, aren't you man enough to come out and try to help a girl in distress? Wait, how did you know that I was hiding? I felt something hiding there. It seemed harmless, so I just left it hidden. Oh, you can feel threats around you? I guess you picked that up living in the slums. Hmm. Lin stares into my eyes silently. She's beautiful when she's not talking. <laughs> she has a trim waist, and she's tall, and has a nice chest, but not as nice as Lisa's. <laughs> oh my god. She's got the figure of a model. Hey, I know you're taller than I am, but don't look down on me, okay? I'm a delicate person, you know, so being treated like that would hurt me. Did you just laugh at me? I'm a late bloomer, you know. Soon I'll be taller than you. Yeah, who knows when that'll happen. Oh, now I'm off. See ya. Lin waves and tries to leave. Wait, I have some things to talk about. Not with me, you don't. Don't say that. You acted like you knew every move they were going to make. Can you read minds? Huh? Just a thought. I know that doesn't happen in real life, but were you predicting their moves from their expressions? I think I'm right, because I remember you staring at my face when I talked to you, and you're really skilled in martial arts. Teach me please, oh teach me senpai. Not a chance. Bye. Please, I beg of you. Look kid. Say I do decide to teach you some moves, what's in it for me? Uh, well, you will have done it out of the kindness of your heart? If you can pay me, I'll consider it. Is she demanding compensation? But I've spent all the money Rosary gave me. Okay, how about a tofu chiku uh, chikua I got for an afternoon snack? Tofu chikua? Are you kidding me? You, you you don't like tofu chikua? I tried to offer it to Lin. No, I mean, no thanks. I don't have time to deal with a sheltered kid like you. Growl. Huh. You know what? I changed my mind. I'll take it. The growling was her stomach, not a cat. Meow. Let's split it. Huh? What? I shudder in fear. She's really intimidating, though not to the extent Lise is. Uh, okay, all yours. Whoosh. Lin took it from my hand faster than my eyes could track. Hmm. Oh, you know, I'm not completely convinced. There's nothing um, to teach you. You told me you changed your mind. Liar. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What's with that nonchalant response? Well, that eased my stomach a bit. Thanks. See ya. Oh my god. Lin quickly raises her hand and attempts to leave. 
I have to pull on her sleeve to keep her from leaving. Damn, you're a little nuisance. Fine, I'll give you one more chance. If you win, I'll hear you out, okay? Okay, so what do we do now? Lin takes a coin from her pocket, then flips the coin with her thumb and catches it. And again, do you know how to play coin toss? Yeah, you flip a coin and I call heads or tails, right? That's one way to do it, but this way is a little different. I throw a coin up like this, and I catch it with my hands crossed. As Lin just said, she flips a coin high, and catches it crossing her hands. Now, can you guess which hand the coin is in? No, I didn't see it at all. Lin grins and opens both her hands. The coin is in her right hand. That's all, and you have to guess, uh, you have to guess it right. Got it? If you win, I'll hear you out. I mean, come on, Lin is from the slum. She has, she's got a couple of tricks up her sleeve. Even though she, she would probably play legit against most people when there's actually, you know, something on the line that resembles some sort of honor. But this, in this case, is she wants to get out of trouble, or like the, the, not trouble, like you know, danger trouble, but trouble of extra effort by teaching us because she doesn't seem to want to do that so she'll just do like yeah blah 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 and she's able to manipulate it in a way that will guess wrong i imagine because you know damn kids in the slums always with the tricks up their sleeve if i win don't try to talk to me ever again got it so my chance to win is 50 50 but i'll have to look carefully are you up for it or not i would have declined it if it were fighting but I'll accept a simple game like that. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here I go. Lin flips the coin forcefully with the thumb. The coin flies higher than the last toss, and Lin's hands quickly cross over the coin when it falls at my eye level. I couldn't see it. What an impressive skill. It will be difficult to track, even for well-trained people. Now, guess which hand the coin is in? Uh, yeah, hmm. Be quick, I can't spare too much time with you. Left, right, which hand did she use to grab the coin? I don't know, so I think I should, hmm, stare at her face. I have to concentrate on it completely so as to not miss the slightest thing. I know that people unconsciously look at what they want to hide. Hmm. Lin stays quiet while maintaining eye contact with me. Then I'll try staring at her hands, switching my focus between them. Let's see if it works. And no reaction. So Lin seems to be immune to mental tricks. Come on. You gonna keep me here until sunset? I know, but I can't really afford to lose here. I'm getting befuddled as I get more desperate. I'm as certain of it as uh, I'm as certain of it being her left hand as her right. Yeah, that's kind of the 50/50, right? Tick tock, tick tock. What? I hear a sound like the ticking of a clock. What? Then I see a butterfly flying in front of me. The butterfly flies elegantly, scattering blue dust behind it. It was a similar to the one I saw in my dream. A, a butterfly? A butterfly? What are you saying? I don't see any butterfly. I saw one right in front of me. Jeez, are you dreaming? Man up and make a choice. Left or right? You've only got two options. Didn't Lin see that butterfly? I'm getting more desperate as she's becoming impatient, and my focus is on that butterfly in front of me. The butterfly disappears into the air, just like the previous encounter. But um, my heart begins to beat strongly. What? Suddenly, a monochrome world expands inside my head. I feel a strange sensation. Like I'm in a different world, frozen in time. In that world, Lin grins at me and opens both hands. The coin isn't in either of them. Hey, 
Are you okay? You look dazed all of a sudden. Tick tock, tick tock. I hear another tick of the clock. Then the world in my head vanishes all at once. What on earth was that? It was just a blink of an eye, but the vision stayed vividly in my head. If that vision is to be believed, the coin isn't in either of Lin's hands. Now... Finally, huh? What took you so long for a toy cost? There's no reason to trust the vision, but I think I may have to. I'd call it a sixth sense. In my experience, following my instincts in this kind of situation often leads me to better results. The coin is in neither one of your hands. Are you kidding me? Lin raises her eyebrows, looking at me dubiously. Her reaction is understandable. You didn't grab the coin, and that's my answer. Are you sure? I am sure. Open your hands and show me. Dun dun dun. Which one shall it be? Are we right or are we not? I guess we'll find out in the next video. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!